Okay, everyone, I'm back. Um, I got a couple more videos to make about the situation that's going on here. Um, the, the urgency that I'm feeling inside my spirit that the Lord is prompting me to do this stuff. Um, and so I'm going to get it done. Uh, Lashara Pinkney, she had a video today. And in this video, she was talking about a couple of different things. And I got revelation on one of the things afterwards. Um, I'm just going to put this out there. I, I was... We were talking today on the phone, me and Lashara, and, you know, I was saying to her, why is the Lord having us at such a late date do some of these things that we're doing and addressing? Well, in my case, um, I have been teaching nothing but grace, pretty much on you know comments and stuff like that uh, this was before I had my own channel I've only had my channel for a month and a half now guys um, and pretty much everything on it is about grace okay um, and that's because that's what I have been led to teach and that has uh, been my calling now in life um, after like I said 16 years of hardcore um, fire, baptism, um, transitioning into uh, what it is today. Yeah, that's the best way I can do, being put through the refinery fire. And this is what it has led to. Okay, if you don't understand what I'm talking about, go look at my first video, The Faith of a Child, and then you'll get all the gist of what I'm, I'm talking about, okay? So, uh, any, anywho, in the last, I'll say the last 10 months, I have been preaching grace radically on other people's channels, comments, and stuff like that. And I have been leading people to grace, okay, instead of being under the law and under the bondage, okay. So that's why I did this long grace series. But I was talking to Lashara today and I was like, why is the Lord, and she's, she has been addressing someone on her channel. This person is a false prophet, prophetess. She is a, a false teacher. She takes, and I'm not going to name her, not right now. I will, I will though, shortly. Because I believe that um, the Lord is addressing her big time, but she will not take correction. And she's full of pride. Uh, I'm not a woman of eloquent speech. I am who I am. You're going to get it the way I put it to you. Um, it might not sound all learned and everything like that, but it is what it is. But I just want to tell you guys um, that the, the conversation between Lashara and I, and I today... Um, that's what it was consisting of. Well, we kind of, we stay on the phone with each other one, two, two and a half hours sometimes talking about things. And it goes from one thing to the next, to the next, to the next. And I was telling her, I said, you know, because I told her, I said, man, ever since I started my channel, I said, you weren't doing a whole lot of videos for a while there. She was working three jobs and stuff like that and tired and this and that. And, um, Wants to go out, I think. Talking about my little Tinker Bell. Hold on, guys. Um, hold on, Tinky. Tinky, hold on, baby. Uh, sorry, guys, for the interruption. Um, but anyways, she has been hard and heavy about this particular woman and about a bunch of other videos and teachings. And um, and I was asking her, there, I said, so why if if we don't have but a very little time, why is the Lord having us do this now? Why is it, if it's, if we're supposed to be raptured here in the next, I don't know, I don't know, two, it could be tomorrow, I don't know, it could be six, seven, eight months from now, it could be longer than that, I don't know. But, I, but it feels like it's really, 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 really close. Okay, 
And, and I'm going by people's dreams, not by everybody's dreams, because there's only a few I listen to. Um, the rest of them, I just kind of chalk them up as whatever, their carnal mind and, you know, just certain things that they've heard. And, and then their, their subconscious uh, withholds it and then they dream about it. And, you know, and but I can tell when somebody is prophetic and I can tell when the Holy Spirit is uh, speaking through them. And I can discern that, and I can discern dreams, whether it's from your carnal mind or the mind of the spirit, one or the other. Okay. Um, now, I was talking with her about this today, and I was like, I, I just don't understand it. And the reason why I had called her is because she said on her video, I stopped it at three minutes. I've been trying to catch up on Amanda's videos and, and Lashara's videos, videos, and I stopped it because she said that she had a vision about a basket and a piece of paper being drawn to it, and I was like, are you kidding me right now? Why didn't you tell me this, <laughs> you know, and what the Lord's been showing me this last almost three weeks about Israel and Amos, and, you know, that I'm supposed to be... Telling people what's what's fixing to happen, you know, because Amos, you know, he was just a farmer. And God says, you're not just a, you're somebody I'm sending to, to, to warn. And I was like, okay, you know, because like I said, I don't, you know, I had a hard time even saying that I was a teacher. Because of, of Amanda and, and Lashar, especially Lashar, I was like, Teacher, teacher, te I was like, don't call me that, you know. I I had a hard time with that because, you know, it's 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 a scary thing because you've got people's souls in your hands, and um, you know, and you don't want to disappoint the Lord. You want to make sure you study and get it all right, it, the best that you can, you know, and with the leading of the Holy Spirit. But anyways, um, so and then I stopped it and I called her and we were talking about that and. Um, prior to me calling her, I had asked the Lord, um, I prayed to the Father, and I said, Lord, well, how long do we have? I mean, why are you having us do this now, it, you know, if we have such a little teensy short time, you know, that I feel that we have? And... I said, well, Lord, can you, I, I don't know, I don't need to know the day or nor the hour, which is an idiom, but I don't need to know that. Can you just tell me, now this is what I said to me, y'all. I just talk to the Lord just like I talk to you. This is the kind of relationship I've always had with my father, our father. And, uh, of course, I have reverence and awe, and, 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 and you know, the, the, the beginning of all knowledge is fear of the Lord. You're absolutely tooting on that. I have that, but I'm just saying... I talk to him, you know, he knows me, he knows my heart, he knows everything I'm going to say before I even say it. So, you know, I just I was talking to him about that day, and I was like, and I says, well, Lord, I says, can you just tell me, is it going to be eight months or less? Can you just, will you please just tell me that? Give me some kind of confirmation on that. So I was watching a TV show, and then I decided to go on YouTube, and I decided to look at, uh, I looked at Amanda's first, and she didn't make any new videos at that point of the day. So I said, well, I'm going to go over to Lashara and see what she's got going on. So I went over there, and I looked at one video, then I looked at the other video. Like I said, I was trying to catch up. And then the third video I got to was the one with the basket and the piece of paper stuck to it. Well, I knew that that was the peace agreement. I knew that that's what the Lord had been addressing me with about Amos for almost three weeks now. Okay, but he knew little by little by little that he would give me confirmation of confirmation of confirmation. And then he knew exactly when I was going to do it, which was tonight. The video on it, the warning. Uh, so anyways, then I'm looking at this pink, pink uh, room that she's got on here, Mishara Pinkney. And uh, it's a part of this video. And I asked her, I said, well, so what's going on with the pink room, Lashara? Uh, you know, because I didn't get to it. That, I stopped at three minutes. And, I, and I, I said to her, 
So what's going on with the pink room? So she told me about it. She said that she had was feeding some children some leftover food. And then and if you listen to the video, you go over and listen to it. Um, it's pretty amazing because it was basically what we were talking about that morning. And because I was like, why are we doing this now if we're getting ready to go? Who's it going to help? Okay, and which, you know, that's not up to us to decide, you know, it could just be one person. I don't know. You know, that's up to the Lord, who he reaches and what he's, his plans are, you know, and how he constructs things. Okay, so anyway, she says t about the children and about the leftover food, and, and then I, I just watched the rest of it a little while ago, and she was talking about the the, the sausage being inside of the spaghetti wrap that was red. Well, that's Jesus' blood, you know. Okay, that's grace again, y'all. That's grace again. That sausage we're not supposed to be eating. It's under the law. Any ham, anything like that, you're not supposed to be touching the carcass, the dead carcass of a, of a, of a pig. Um, so anyways, um, that's pretty much neither here nor there. But she said that she had, and I don't think that she gathered this. You know, like I said, I discern things pretty good, usually. She said that she had a little bit of a corner, a little, little bit of an edge of a, the carpet area there, a little bit of sweeping left to do, just a little bit, okay? Um, I know this is getting long again, but there's just so much to tell you guys. Uh, it's a little crazy. And then the confirmation that I got from this video was... And I don't think she realizes this yet. I haven't talked to her about this. I got late. <clears throat> She's already in bed. She has been in bed for a couple hours now. <clears throat> There's another Shara. And um, so I figured I'd call her tomorrow. But she had a, a, a dream a, a few months back where she was going to get, there was a piece of paper, I think, that was put in her back po pocket that was telling her that she was getting ready to be released and that it was going to be um, a week's time now remember I just asked the Lord how long and she says on this video she says well this week's time I think it's it, it means eight months she said and since I put that video out it's six months now and the next month seven months and I was like, wow, because I asked the Lord about eight months. I said, is it going to be eight months or less? And I said, please give me a confirmation. And I'm trying to keep all this straight, y'all. I don't know. I don't even know how I keep it all in my head. <laughs> it's crazy. Um, so what I believe now about that week from Amos, I believe that week actually meant, you know, the seven-year peace agreement that is getting ready to happen. And that will be the beginning of the tribulation period. It says that he will make a covenant. He will make an agreement with many for seven. Seven years, you guys. That's the tribulation period. That's the beginning of the trib. Okay? So, I'm going to go on real quick. Uh, and then... She started talking about the pink room here. So, and then she said um, that she was feeding the children that there's a little bit, a little bit left to be swept up, a little bit left to be taken care of, and that's what we we're talking about this morning. And and that Jesus had been a little delayed, but we were fixing to see him face to face. And she said that it kind of came on like bam, you know. I'm, I'm paraphrasing her right now. And then so. I never, I never mind it, you know, what she said. And then she said something about a guy had a dream about a pink room and that the moon and the sun was out at the same time. Well, you know, I had my dream of the blood red moons, um, five of them, 16 years ago, 15 and a half years ago. 
and I've been looking for that fifth blood red moon. And I know we're getting ready to have a total solar eclipse. Now, I'm not saying that's what's going to happen or what, that's where it's going to be. I don't know, you know. Only when the father calls and says, son, go get your bride. Because that's Hebraic tradition. That's marriage. You know, he would go prepare a place for his bride. They would have a betrothal for about two years, usually. And then the father, it would be up to the father to tell him to go get your bride and bring her back to the place here that I've prepared for her. Um, this is Hebraic tradition about marriage. So anyways, about this pink moon, I mean, not, not, not moon, excuse me, about this pink room, I took a nap, and I got up about a, about 9.30, okay, this evening, and I said, oh, goodness, i got to get this video made, all right, I was tired, y'all, and I go and I look out my window right before I start making, and it looked all pink, pink outside, pink. And I was like, well, what in the world? So I walked down my driveway. I opened the door. I walked on down the driveway to see, well, what is making it look so pink out here? And I looked around, and then I looked up at the, you know, how you guys got your the, the lights, the lamps on your streets, the street lights. I looked up at it, and it looked pink. And it's a white light. It's always been white. And I, I, I didn't think, I thought, wow, you know, it's got a, a, a hue of pink to it. So I walked back on in the house, and now I believe hmm, that that was, I believe, an awake vision, because it's not like that now. And I haven't had that many of those in my life. Okay, I'm just going to say, I have a lot of dreams, but I don't, you know, I haven't had very many awake, I mean, visions, you know, where you're seeing it clear as day, or, or you know, you're looking at it like a movie or whatever. But anywho, also, one more thing. I did an interpretation for Amanda, this is almost done, you guys. I did an interpretation for Amanda, one of her, um audibles that she was hearing while she was mopping her floor and at the end of it she heard a song called life in a northern town where i did the interpretation on that and oh boy that's something else if you haven't seen it go look at it okay interpretation of a song that's on my videos one of my videos and um there was one piece one line that i felt that did not fit okay and I went to go look it up. Well, what was who was this song about originally? And I went and I looked, and it was about a man named, not about him, but dedicated to him. His name was Nick Drake. And I had looked him up about eight months ago, seven, eight months ago, because I was searching for my blood red moon. And it had something to do with the... Um, the Harvest Moon, and he had a song called Pink Moon, and her video, uh, Amanda, about the life in a northern town, I know this is so much, you guys, I don't even know how I'm keeping it in my brain, um, uh, this song, it was, a, it was dedicated to this man. Because I was looking for that piece that it just didn't fit, and God knew I would do that, because that's the way my mind works. I'm a, I'm a digger. <laughs> I dig, dig, dig into stuff until I get the answer. That's just the way I am. <laughs> so, and then I thought, and I said, oh, I, that dude, I, I remember him, you know? I was like, well, let me go over to the channel and see why did I look him up like seven months ago? And there was the Pink Moon song. Now, remember her pink room, the other, do, the other guy's pink room with the, um, the moon and the sun at the same time. My blood red moon dream, okay, 16, 15 and a half years ago. This vision I believe that I had tonight, this pink lamp, this warning I'm giving it to Israel. <laughs> Y'all, you, you, you can't make this stuff up. Now, I'm going to tell you the lyrics. There's only one verse in this Pink Moon song by Nick Drake. 
it says, I saw it written, uh, I saw it written, I saw it say, Pink Moon is on its way, and all y'all gonna stand tall, but that Pink Moon is coming to get you all. Mm. <laughs> That's the only lyric in the song, y'all. <laughs> That's just crazy. Um, I just wanted to share this with you. I'm going to be back with another warning for um, Israel and uh, I believe for the rest of the world that um, everything's getting ready to really start moving fast. I really believe that. But anyways, um, just... Keep alert, keep watching, keep praying, and um, that's all I have to say about this situation here. I just wanted to share this with you guys. Like I said, I don't have many open eye visions like that, you know. But anyways, uh, I hope this has been a blessing to you, and that maybe it's gives, giving you some hope that we're getting ready to go home soon, saints. And the ones that aren't saints, you got to get to know Jesus. Israel, Jesus, Yeshua HaMashiach, that's the Messiah. He's always been the Messiah. Look at Isaiah 53. God bless everybody, all y'all. Amen and amen.